Hey, Chris Ferdinandi here with another Vanilla JS quick tip. Let's get into it. For years, a trend in our industry has been to build single page apps or SPAs. With an SPA, the entire site or app lives in a single HTML file. After the initial load, everything about the app is handled with JavaScript. This is, in theory, supposed to result in web apps that feel as fast and snappy as native apps. I personally think that's nonsense. So first, let me get this out of the way. There are a few narrow examples where SPAs make sense and are the right choice. And I think YouTube is actually a great example of this. Being able to keep videos playing while you explore other videos is fantastic. The same goes for audio websites like SoundCloud, where you can keep a song playing as you navigate around and explore other artists. The Spotify web app, same thing. So media sites, really. Generally speaking, though, I think SPAs as an industry trend or best practice were a mistake. The browser gives you a ton of stuff for free built right in out of the box. SPAs break all that and force you to recreate it yourself with JavaScript. Most developers do it wrong, and for the ones that do it right, it results in a ton of extra code to recreate features that the browser already gave you for free. Rather than rehashing what all those are, because they're covered in a lesson in this program, um, I'd like to talk about what you can do as an alternative. I think one of the questions that comes up a lot is, can MPAs be as fast as SPAs? And by MPA, I mean a multi-page app or just like a traditional website, as we used to call them. Uh, and the answer is unequivocally, yes, they absolutely can be. The sites and apps that I build are absurdly fast. They load nearly instantly. Even on spotty 3G connections on the other side of the world, where many of my students live, things still load really quickly, like three seconds or less fast. And I do it from cheap shared $5 a month hosting. So here's a quick high-level summary of what I do to make that happen. Uh, and I have a whole article on this um, that is in the link below this video. So if you want to really dig into some of these approaches, I'd recommend you click through and read the whole article. But at a high level, I serve pre-rendered, mostly static HTML. This is much faster for the server to respond with. Um, it doesn't have to do any processing the way like a WordPress site that combines a bunch of stuff with PHP might. I inline everything, including my CSS and JavaScript. Because my files are so small, uh, because I use native vanilla JavaScript instead of a lot of libraries, and I write really small CSS files, I can send the entire page usually in a single round trip HTTP request, which means the browser makes the request, it gets the file back, and it can instantly start rendering things. It doesn't have to wait for additional files to download. I use mostly platform native JavaScript and as little of it as possible. I minify and gzip everything to make those files even smaller. And I lean heavily on service workers to cache different pages and some of the more heavy stuff. So like images and things that would normally take a while to load. I cache them after the first visit. The fonts on my site, I cache those. So on every subsequent visit, they're already in the browser, instantly available and ready to load. Um, again, if you want to dig deeper into how each of these pieces work, head on over to gomakethings.com. Uh, I have a whole article on how to make MPAs that are as fast as SPAs. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and maybe even share it with someone else who you think might enjoy it. You can also get my daily developer tips newsletter over at gomakethings.com, where every weekday I share a new tip, trick, tool, or vanilla JS snippet to help you build a simpler and more resilient web. Thanks so much for watching.